Government of propaganda. We, we understand this right from the first day since they are Zoom office. Now, it happens that during this protest, they came up with sharing of rice. After which, they now said they'll be selling rice for 10, I mean for 40,000 naira to, to Nigerians in some specific market. Later, it was turned around to be civil servant. We move forward a bit, and then we discover that they have released some certain ground and that they are distributing money to people's accounts. All of this just to make sure that the protest did not go ahead. Now, the major problem is that the government said that they released 570 billion naira to cushion hardship in Nigeria. And then, <laughs> here is the jackpot. The governor of Nasarawa state, as well as Oyo state, came out to debunk that particular news. They say that 570 billion was not released to the state to cushion any effect of the hardship in the country. Billion was the first amount that was disbursed under a program called Nigerian Community Action for Resilience and Economic Stimulus. Mm -hmm. That is called NGKS. That money came from the World Bank, and that was the second disbursement, which came in November last year. The actual amount was credited to the account of every other state, sometimes around end of January, February, depending on the state. Indeed, the total amount of this 135 billion, Nasrallah state, came first by getting 130, 13.6 billion, over 10% of the total amount. But that money is meant for certain projects. It's almost like a regimented loan from the World Bank. At what percent is for the repayment? Well, the World Bank actually is doing it at no interest. The reason is because, just like the name Art, it was coming in order to support the states because of the COVID. It actually started around there to 2020. Mm. So the first disbursement was done even before uh, Mr. President actually came in in May 2023. So the first disbursement was done. The second disbursement was when the Mr. President was there. And then the third disbursement was the one that was done again in June this year. That's the 27 year talking about. It was so advertised. That, it was advertised. Yeah. All of them are supposed to be advertised because it's a requirement by the World Bank that the money must be advertised. So all these all, money, the, all the, there's supposed to be three installments. Three installments. And all have been fully paid. All of them have been disbursed to all, all the, the states. All the states credited. Every state has been credited. No state is denying it. Mm. The only thing that the state would like to explain so that people will understand, it was not meant to go and cushion the effects of the economic hardship that people are facing. Now, according to the news, just like you've watched the governor of uh, uh, Nasrawa State said, the Oyo State counterpart went ahead to say that the president, Bola Ahmed Tinebu's claim of 570 billion naira, which they have distributed to the 36 state of the federation, is not completely accurate. In a newsletter signed by the governor and published on the state official website on Thursday, Mackinde said the fund disbursed was not a direct allocation from the federal government. The governor clarified that the money received by the state were actually World Bank COVID-19 funds, with the federal government acting only as an intermediary between the international creditor and the 36 states. He went for to said, went for that to explain that the funding was co contingent on what the state had already spent on COVID-19 programs, meaning the World Bank was simply reimbursing what the states had used to address the public crisis. Well, right, let's come down a bit. We will come back to this to demand for accountability from the governors, right? To understand how they spent this particular money coming from the World Bank. We need to really understand because when you see some of the states in Nigeria during the COVID-19 period, you will understand that there were, I don't, I don't think there was any point in time where the state governors pay some certain amount of money to some people and not all the states recorded 
you know, heavy, you know, COVID-19, this and that. It was only in Lagos and then Abuja and some other cities that recorded high level of COVID, of which we understand that from the beginning, all of this, you know, uh, were all propaganda at the end of the day because the money was given to them and we could not even see what they use it for. Just like the governor of National Water State said earlier, we were meant to construct, construct road with COVID-19 funds. <laughs> I don't really understand the what concerns COVID-19 fund with road construction. This is a problem. Mismanagement, but that is not the case. The issue here is the federal government claiming to be releasing this money. Can you see? This is a pure propaganda orchestrated by this current administration. And they will not change until Nigerians decide to hold them accountable for everything they said, do, per time. What do you make of this? Let's have this conversation in the comment section. Thank you for watching.